Good evening, John. The instructor is waiting for you. Just go straight on through those doors behind me. How are you, John? Let's start with some target practice. Join me on the other side of that door. Okay, first you'll need a gun. I placed a 9mm pistol in the bin. You can open the bin by actioning it. Pick up the gun inside by moving near it. Try it now. Make sure you look at the object you're trying to open. Look down at the... Okay, you have 10 bullets in this gun. The more accurate you're shooting, the higher your score will get. Give it a go. Almost perfect. Okay, let's move on. Let's try out the submachine gun. Same rules apply. The gun is in the bin. Take it now. This weapon is less accurate unless you use a manual target, but it has a much greater rate of fire. This bin is an assault rifle. With this weapon, you can zoom in and out of your target by squeezing the manual target button. Try it out. Notice that this weapon requires a different caliber of ammunition from the two previous weapons. Same rules apply whenever you're ready to That's a perfect score, John. Well done. Okay, let's move on. In this bin, we have a sniper rifle. This will allow you to zoom extremely close to your target, so I'll be expecting a perfect score. carrying all four weapons in your inventory. You can change weapons by using the directional button. Pressing up and down on the directional button will quickly cycle through the weapons you are carrying. Pressing left and right on the directional button will bring up an inventory screen, allowing you to see what items you are carrying. From here you can select what you want by scrolling up and down and then pressing action. Notice you have two inventory screens, one for weapons and one for other items. The directional button will toggle between the two. Try this now. Pressing up and down on the directional button will quickly cycle through the weapons you are carrying. Pressing left and right on the directional button will bring up an inventory screen, allowing you to see what items you are carrying. From here you can select what you want by scrolling up and down and then pressing action. Notice you have two inventory screens, one for weapons and one for other items. The directional button will toggle between the two. Try this now. Good. In the next room we have a shooting gallery. Boards will pop up with either criminals or civilians on them. You will score one point for every bad guy you shoot, but you will lose one point for every civilian you hit. The test is over when you reach a score of 10. In the bin in front of me, you can collect some new ammo. If you run out of ammo, come back here and we'll reset the course. In your own time, John. Okay, the test will begin when you step into the green area marked on the floor.
That's a respectable time. Okay, let's move on. Okay, John. If you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. Thanks. Okay. Next up to the obstacle course. Let's see how agile you are. Climb this ladder by walking onto it. At the top, you want to make your way across this beam. Some people find it easier by crawling on their belly. Go prone. Double t Well done. Okay, there's a crash mat down there. If you run off the edge of the platform, you will automatically jump. This will help you reach the mat, which will cushion your fall. You can jump whenever you want by pressing the jump button. Climb these steps by walk. Well done. It's sometimes easier to use the auto jump. If you run off the edge of the platform, you will you have to be running in order to perform the auto jump. If you walk off the edge, you will just fall. Climb the ladder and try again. Good. And again? Okay. Get across this gap by using the moving platform. Good. Now run down these steps. You'll have to crouch to get under this barrier. To crouch. Okay. Now jump over this block. This gap is too small to crouch, but you can get under it by going prone. To go prone, double tap on the crouch button. Okay, John, you beat the obstacle course. John, let's try you out on some human opposition. In the next room, there are five instructors who have taken cover. In this training section, you're going to have to make it to the exit without getting shot. If you get shot, return back to the beginning and we'll reset the course. However, if you shoot any of the instructors, they will be eliminated from the course. Because we're dealing with real people here, John, we'll be using paintballs. You'll find a gun and some ammo in this bin. The course begins once you walk through these doors. Congratulations, John. You got all of them. Sometimes you'll encounter insurmountable odds in the line of duty. But being one of the good guys, you can even out the odds by using what I like to call hero time. This will give you faster reflexes in your opponents for a set period of time. Normally, you would earn hero points by doing good deeds. But for the purpose of this test, you'll be given some at the start. When you enter the next room, a group of instructors will attack you. Simply shoot all of them before they shoot you. To trigger hero time, press your hero mode button. You'll stay in this mode until you run out of hero time. You can get some more paintballs from the bin. When you're ready, John, just step through this door. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. You took all of them out. Let's try the next test. Let's test your throwing arm. In this bin, you'll find 10 smoke grenades, and in the next room, you'll find five bins. You'll need to throw a grenade into each of those bins. When throwing the grenade, pressing the fire button will pull the pin out of the grenade. Release the fire button will throw the grenade. The longer you leave it between pulling out the pin and releasing the grenade, the further you will throw it. Okay, let's try it.
been a pitcher with that arm. Okay, let's move on. Okay, John. If you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. Okay, John. Running in guns blazing isn't always the best way. Sometimes a more subtle approach works better. The next exercise is to see how quiet you can be. There are two ways for you to move. Action or stealthy. Pressing your stealth button will toggle between the two modes. Try this now. Good. And again? Good. Now when you're in stealth mode, you make less noise and you're less likely to be seen. Unfortunately, you'll have to move slower to be quiet. If you punch or shoot in stealth mode, you will automatically change to action mode and your cover will be blown. In the next room, there are various instructors and cameras patrolling and keeping watch. You must get from here to the exit door without being spotted. If you're spotted, return to the start and we'll try it again. Enter the room when you're ready. You can't avoid the camera by staying behind it. If you had a silenced pistol, you could shoot it out. It's important always to scout out the area before you make a move. Duck behind the boxes and sidestep to look around without being spotted. I see you, McLean. You've been spotted, John. Come back to the start. Remember, it's sometimes best to observe. If a man is patrolling, watch and learn their route. <laughs> In your own time, John. I see you, McLean. In your own time, John. You can't avoid the camera by staying behind it. If you had a silenced pistol, you could shoot it out. It's important always to scout out the area before you make a move. Duck behind the boxes and sidestep to look around without being spotted. Watch out, McLean. Laser trip beams ahead. If you touch one, you'll trip the alarm. Good. Okay. Let's move on. Being a police officer, John, if the opportunity arises, it's always better to capture someone alive. In the next room, we've set up a hostage scenario. There are a number of instructors in the next room guarding a couple of hostages. If any of the instructors spot you, they will shoot the hostages and you will fail the test. However, if you are stealthy, it's possible to approach the instructors without being spotted. Then, if they're not aware of you, and you're close enough, it's possible to grab one of the instructors by pressing your grab button. This puts you in a good bargaining position to ensure the safe release of the hostages. Here's a useful tip. Not all members of the gang carry the same importance. Always try to grab the leader. His men will look to him for guidance. Grabbing the leader will cause the men to stand down, but it's not over yet. There still is a threat until you cuff them. To cuff these men, pick up the weapons by moving over them. Don't let go of the leader until you've secured the rest of the gang. He's your bargaining power. That just leaves the leader. Normally, pressing the fire button would break his neck, but seeing as this is training, we're not going to let you do that. To cuff and grab a person, press your action button. Excellent! You've secured the release of the hostages without any casualty or putting yourself in danger. Let's move on. The last part of your training requires you to disarm three bombs. In the bin in front of me is a circuit-breaking device. Take it now. Okay, now select this device from your inventory. Remember, this isn't a weapon, so it will appear in your item's inventory. Select this now. In the final room, there are three suitcase bombs. As you approach them, you will be shown a code to disarm them. Enter this code into your circuit breaker by pressing the button. One final thing. Once you've entered the first code, you will trigger the timer. You must enter the entire sequence before the timer reaches zero, otherwise, boom.
Congratulations, John. This concludes your refresher training course. The other door will take you back to reception. Okay, John. If you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. And hey, let's be careful out there. Hello, John. You all done? You can run through it again by going through the door behind me. Otherwise, you are free to leave. Have a nice day. Man, you look awful. A little white wine and some food, and then a night at the opera. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I'm Dick Thornburg reporting live for HEN, the Hollywood Entertainment Network, where show business is your business. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles, and I can see the whole city from atop the Townsend Art Museum. Art patrons, city officials, and various other important LA personalities have gathered to witness this occasion. Piet Gruber, the son of the notorious criminal Hans Gruber, has returned to the city where his father met his demise. Piet, however, is here to return a painting recovered from one of his South American expeditions. Gruber maintains that this gesture is to clear his family name, but an act of conscious art preservation. Gruber. Well, we're here at the presentation ceremony, which is just about to begin. Townsend curator Christoph von Leben is getting ready to speak to this excited crowd. Look at my Lucy. First day on the job, following in her old man's footsteps. Thank you all for joining us today as we return this wonderful work to its rightful place in the Townsend Art Museum. We've waited a long time to retrieve this piece, and we are so lucky that Mr. Piet Gruber rediscovered the Jacques through his dealings in South America. We'll let Mr. Gruber do the honors as he unveils the Jacques and hands it over to me as Townsend Curator. Okay, Buzz, get some shots of the guests. The more skin, the better, if you know what I mean. Wait a sec. Isn't that the fitness instructor guy over there? Mm, frontier something or another. The guy with Gruber. It is with great pleasure that I give to you the Jacques masterpiece, Lakeside Nymphs. I've been assured by Mr. Von Leben that it will be rehung in its proper place and very well protected. Sure you have. But what about the thief that stole it? How were you able to obtain the painting so easily? We are very close to the perpetrator of the crime. I can assure you that the culprit will be brought to justice. What the... Hell's that. Hey, Buds, are you getting this? Gunshots? Lucy! Uh, everyone remain calm. There's, there's nothing to be alarmed about. And I always thought art was boring. This is Dick Thornburg live, and what started out as a lovely summer day has erupted into a maelstrom of blood and bullets. Buzz, are you getting this? I am risking my life here. This is gonna be Hey, fun, McLean, John. you get called in? Not really. I caught it on TV. Well, you know who's still in there? With the camera crew? It's that sleaze reporter. Dick Thornburg. Uh huh. Well, he's your number one fan, eh, John? Terrific. Man, we just need some details from you. What's your name? Uh, oh my god. My name is Claudia Sherman. I'm from the Valley. Are you okay? Are you injured? I was like so scared. I thought I was like a total goner. Okay, we'll have a medical captain. Get down the John, what the hell are you doing here? Looking for my daughter. Lucy's here? Yes, sir. It was her first assignment. 
It seems she surprised the robbers. John, we've not heard anything from my people in there. Al, I know my Lucy is alive in there. When the alarm got tripped, it seems they panicked. They grabbed a group of hostages and sealed themselves inside. We're cutting through now. So what you got in mind, John? I don't know if being Lucy's father makes it a good thing for you to be here. Look, Al, I'm not leaving. Now, I'm not in uniform, so if I get spotted, I'll just make like I was a guest who got lost. Oh, yeah. You look like a real art lover, McLean. Well, I've always been partial to the odd comic book. Sir, we're in. McLean? Don't try to stop me, Al. I was just gonna wish you luck. We'll be on the radio. John, you there? Nah, I'm okay. Looks like I'm on my own again. Shit, the cops are breaking in! So, guess you weren't expecting this when you woke up. Sleep well, scumbag. You okay? Oh, thanks. They were gonna kill me. Anyone else survive? I saw them take one of the cops hostage, too. A young woman. A young woman, you're sure? Yeah. They took her to the patio area at the far end of the courtyard. Thanks. Look, you wait here. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be safe here. I wouldn't use those as cover, cop! over by the steps. Well, well, well. I guess it's true where there's shit, there's flies. This is great. The best footage we've had in ages. Police massacres, foreign art benefactors. 
Get out of my face, dick. Look, let's work together on this. Give me an interview and I'll get you into the galleries. I know a way. Where's the rest of your film crew? Uh, they got shot. Occupational hazard. Well, what do you say? You couldn't broadcast what I'd say. Over there! Oops. I'd like to stay, but... He's here! You okay? Yes, yes, I, I'm fine. They, they didn't touch me, but, but my paintings, they're gone. We'll get them back. Now go and find somewhere to hide. Baby, are you okay? Yeah, I can look after myself. Oh, this is award-winning stuff. I got a big close-up of the hug, father and daughter. Very touching. Dad, it's not worth it. It's over now. No, this is just the start. What? Once again, this is Dick Thornburg reporting with a story that will shock and amaze you about just how far a man will go for fame and fortune. While the aftermath of this morning's daring raid on the Townsend Art Museum is still being felt, 
I have uncovered the bizarre life behind one of its main perpetrators. Our story begins here, in the small town of DeKalb, Illinois. Self-conscious of his immigrant heritage, Jack Frontslavsky changed his name to Frontier and joined the Army at the age of 18. Frontier had an affinity for action, and it wasn't long before the CIA had him in their sights. Yes, our government used your taxpayers' money to train this man into a skilled and lethal operative for the best part of 10 years. But Frontier eventually grew bored with this lifestyle and quit the service. Craving something more fulfilling, he recorded an exercise training video. The result was called Train or Die, a militant aerobic routine to get those perfect abs. Yes, only in America, ladies and gentlemen. Train or Die was an overnight success, and the name Frontier became synonymous with training the rich and famous. Yet even this wasn't enough for the fitness freak. Frontier wanted to star in the very action movies he helped train people for. Eventually, he got his wish in Galaxy Thief as a Martian space mercenary. The film was a surprise sleeper hit, and soon Frontier found himself reprising his role in the inevitable sequel, Galaxy Thief 2. This time, the film bombed. Many critics specifically targeting Frontier's performance, stating that not even an alien would ever act in such a wooden way. For Galaxy Thief 3, the studio wasn't taking any chances. This time, they cast heartthrob Greg Castle, hanging Jack Frontier out to dry. Forever shunned by the Hollywood elite, Jack Frontier sank into a miserable depression, once attempting suicide. The table was truly turned, ladies and gentlemen, from being toast of the town to the most wanted man in Hollywood after this morning's vicious attack. Yet another tragic tale about falling stars and shattered Hollywood dreams. How far will one man go for his 15 minutes of fame and fortune? This is Dick Thornburg signing off for HEN, where show business is your business. You don't want to go down there. The blades are causing havoc. McLean, head to Fat Larry's restaurant. Nobody mess with police officer. Drop it now. Whoa, 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 I'm the owner. I'm a Fat Larry. I nail him in the show. You won't get far. Yeah, well, why don't you let me handle it from here? Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Go after him. If these guys are gang members, where are their colors? And pimps don't wear army issue boots. Hey, we got company! Shut hey, that's the plane. God, Kill it. God. Everyone hide! There's more of them coming! Clay. Yeah? Get to the bank. They're fleeing. What? You're breaking up. Just get over. They're running. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Oh, now. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I just need to get my breath back. <laughs> Take deep breaths. You'll be fine. Oh shit. That was a rush. Whew.
Everyone okay? This man here, I think he's shot in the leg. Hey, McLean here. I need an ambulance at the bank. Look, I've done everything you've asked me to do. Now, why don't you please just leave? Hey, I decide when this is over. Like I decide whether you're gonna live or die. Okay, okay, you're the boss. suppose you saw an injured man come through here. Yeah, he was bleeding bad. He smashed a window and jumped out the back. Thanks. Wait here. Someone will be along. Following the blood should lead you right to him, John. Yeah. I, I think he's crying. Better tell him to drop their weapons. You heard him. Just, just drop them. Now get down on the floor and put your hands behind your back. Okay, okay. I want to thank you, officer. You need to go down to the station and fill out a report. Yes. Okay, um, the station, right, um, well, you see, officer, they, I mean, I, look, why don't we just forget it? I don't want to cause any trouble. What? Well, you see, I'm not here. I'm not supposed to be. I'm in Atlanta. At least that's what my wife thinks. Look, I have to go. Nothing like saving an asshole. Right. Can't reach that, John. Whoa, easy there, John. What you think, man? Nice cut? That's just fly, motherfucker. Take it for a spin. It looks nice. Who the fuck asked you? Hey, what sort of tie goes with this here? Shit, you don't want to wear no tie, man. What are you, an accountant? Well, maybe you ought to pick me out a shirt, since you a motherfucking fashion expert John, now. you've got to capture one of them alive.
Let them go, or your friend here is gonna lose his face. Do as he says. Put your gun down. That's better. You guys had better get out of here unless you want to be lead story on tonight's news. We get the message. Hey, what's up? Hey, anybody strange come in here? No, but you want to hear something cool? <laughs> Only if you still stock 8-track. Um, we have a sale on gangster rap. Not what I'm looking for, thanks. Um, if you want the gangster rap, it's over... Oops, my mistake. You're fucking dead. Not yet, asshole. Hey, just shut the fuck up and get this shit loaded. Yeah, you just make sure no one sees us. Hey, man, how much more stuff are we gonna take? Kill that bitch! Don't bother getting up. Well, Larry will be pleased. Vinny's pool hall. Time to get your hustle on, John. Clay, where are you? I'm at Vinyl Fantasy. You can tell Fat Larry I bagged this bad guy. I read you. We'll send over a van. I think you're gonna need more than one. I sense something big is going down. Roger that. Just keep us posted. Membership card. Here you go. Who you think you are, fool? This ain't you. You ain't even wearing colors. You better take your cracker ass back on home before I put my foot up it. What are you talking about? That's me. It's just a bad photo. Yeah, well, I'm gonna bust a cap in you if you don't get the fuck out of my sight. <laughs> you ain't getting in. Turn around, buddy. Uh, strictly members only. Membership card.
just about my size. Membership card. Here you go. What do you want here? Well, I ain't here to play pool. I'm delivering something for your boss. And who might that be? He didn't say. It's all very hush-hush, you know? See, how am I supposed to let you in if you don't know who you're supposed to see? <laughs> you ain't getting in. Turn around, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I am now, man. Take whatever you want, dude. No charge. Uh, no, that's okay. I mean it, man. Right on. Thanks. Do you mind? No, not at all. What do you know? I don't know anything, man. What are you boys doing here? <laughs> Just window shopping. Yeah, window shopping with guns. Bad neighborhood, right? So who are those other guys? Who are you fighting with? What? What other guys? Unless you want to spend the rest of your life eating through a tube in your nose, I suggest you stop jerking me around. Whoa, hold on, homeboy. We don't know who they are, but they stepped up, so they gonna pay up. Sergio wants them dead. Yo, shut up, fool. Sergio, huh? Thanks for keeping quiet. Membership card. Here you go. What do you want here? Well, I ain't here to play pool. I'm delivering something for your boss. And who might that be? Sergio. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but I suggest you don't speak unless spoken to. They don't like new faces in here. You got the gear? Yep. Get a drink. Be with you in a minute. Well, what do you know? That's gotta be from the Townsend. Yo, what? Hey, man, I know you. You're trying to play. What the fuck? What the fuck was that?
Frontier said that. Oh. Galaxy Thief 3? Well, Frontier, seems you've been airbrushed out. They show films in here? What's he doing? Chafes. All quiet here, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I'll let you know if anyone comes snooping around. Uh-huh. Will do. Yes, sir. Over and out, asshole. Open up, you son of... How much longer are we gonna... Hey, who's that? Son of a bitch! Smokers! Don't take any chances. This guy's good.
crossbow, hmm? Quiet and deadly. This may come in handy. How secure that banner is. Should be moving out soon. Good. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Wait, the hostage. You want to play with the big boys now? Thanks. Are you a cop? That's right. I'm Officer John McClain, Century City Police Department. So, where are the other cops? It's just me. So I suggest for the time being, you all lie low. But what about Alfred, the projectionist? They took him away. Stay here. I'll find him. Some thanks I get. Shut up. Well, that's just great, Sonny. I do you guys a favor, and now you want to kill me. Just shut up. Nah, you kids. You don't have the balls. You know, I used to work for the mob in Vegas, and I still got friends. One more word, old man. 
Ha! Ain't so cocky now, are ya, Sonny? Show's over, pal. Hey, man, you don't know who you're dealing with. Go ahead, son. Shoot him in the face. I take it you're involved in all this? Now, those kids next door don't have no respect. I earned more when I was shining shoes. I knew a shoe shine boy who used bottled spit. Yeah, he couldn't spit himself, something to do with his glands or something. So he got his old lady to spit into a jar at the start of every day. You don't say. And your friends here? Yeah, sure, I help them. Someone offers you more money than you make in a month, what do you do? But those no good double crossing punks, they tried to stiff me. What, what are you waiting for? Nice move, John. Whoops, so much for the element of surprise. did they go? Sneaky, very sneaky. What goes up must come down. This must be how they're moving the art. Hey, you just tried to this way.
Well, 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 John. What do you know? Another vent. Locked. I gotta find another way. Geez, what is that smell? <gasps> hey pal, you seen anything strange around here? I gotta get to the shops before they close! Hmm. Cozy little area. Hey, pal. You seen anything suspicious? Huh? Ain't you cold just like that? Man, it's freezing. You awake there? <gasps> hey, pal. You seen anything strange around here? I need. Where I go night vision, I think I can use these. I see you didn't miss your train. Whew. That's messy. So where does this lead? Watch out, Helm. There's still trains running. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. 
You'd better be. We gotta stay sharp. Sneaky, John. Sewer. First aid. These guys have the best toys. Don't get carried away. the glamour of it all. What's going on? Where are you taking the paintings? Raven, do us all a favor. Shut up. You want me to keep calm? This is madness! Let's go back. He's busy making some arrangements. Things have gotten out of hand, Pontier. The cops are on to us. I I've got my reputation to sink. Von Leben. You'll be well rewarded. Okay, men. Let's get these paintings out of here. Pumped up testosterone fueled moron. Don't you realize how serious this is? Who changed the plans? I'll let you get away with that once. Just once. And I'd ask yourself, what more do you have to offer us? I don't like anything about this. If I was you, I'd shut up and follow orders. Your is rapidly. This is the best gig I've had in years. Yeah, I worked with him before. And true. <laughs>
How much longer do you want us to hold this area? The police will be here soon. Not much longer now. Are the goods secure? We're doing what? Who the hell are you? I'm the subway inspector, and you just failed your test. Rico. Rico. Are you still there? Uh, yes. What happened? Uh, thought I heard something. Look, I've let Von Leben fall behind us. He's become a liability. Kill him. Roger, no problem. You sound a little hoarse. <coughs> I might be catching a cold. It's a little damp down here. Ah, don't worry, Rico. Soon you'll be lying on a beach earning 20%. I always wanted one of these. Take this. Thanks. Who are you? The name's John McLean, Century City PD. You saved our lives. Hey, pal, what happened? Wish I knew. They just rushed in and started grabbing people. There were dozens of them. Who were they? That's what I'm trying to find out. Sorry. That's all I remember. Who was in charge? There was a big guy shouting orders. He looked familiar. He was that guy off the TV. Which? The one on the TV. That, that, that exercise man. Jack Frontier? Yeah, that's him. Well, this is all too weird. You better be careful. There's more of them around. Were they carrying anything? They had lots of small packages. Could they have been paintings? I, I suppose so. I heard one of them say something about taking them to the L.A. River. Is it accessible from the subway? Hmm. Yeah, you can get to the storm drains through a side tunnel. Can we go now? Just sit tight until the cops arrive. Keep back Shoot. off, right? <laughs> Restoration, and it'll be good as new. How did help? Help, Frontier! I'm under attack. If you want to keep breathing, shut the fuck up. You got one chance to get out of this mess, and I'm it. You have got to be kidding me. Frontier wants to kill you. You think it's an accident you were left here alone? But I'll go to jail. It's that or hell. Come with me if you want to live. I see you've saved one of the paintings from Frontier's thugs. It's beautiful, no? Lovely. Get moving, asshole. Yeah? 
I don't suppose you have a key to this door? Yes, just a minute. Where does this lead? To the river, to the storm drains. Don't try anything clever, Laban. You know I can shoot the eye out of a flea before you can hit the floor with your hat. What? Never mind. I can't see a damn thing. This is hopeless. There's a reward on your head. Your time's up. We're wasting time. Huh? Give me some room. Something tells me you shouldn't have done that. Take Von Leben from here. Watch out for his European charm. You know, I've only got eyes for you, Dad. If you know what's good for you, you'll tell her what we need to know. Get your hands off me. Get used to it. The next guy to hold you is going to be your 300 pound cellmate. Nice detective work, Dad. Thanks. I'll catch up with you later. I got some showering to do. I wasn't going to mention that. See you back at the precinct.
too quiet around here. The calm before the storm. Take the cops out now. Keep your eyes peeled. Shoot. I hate it when I'm right. We here. Sir, their communications have been disabled. Excellent. Sweep the garage. There's no one here. We've checked. Well, checked. you're done, asshole. Hmm. Proximity mines. Guys are crazy. Eh, don't mention it. Any idea how many there are? Too many. It's like an army. They rigged the whole place to blow. There are mines everywhere. Ah, oh, ah. Take my keys to the armory. You're gonna need all the help you can get. What the hell? What's Gruber up to? Uh, my guess is it's to do with the von Leben character we brought in earlier. Hmm. Hey, man. That switch will open garage doors to the south. Thanks. Just once, I'd like to have a normal work day. A little filing, some coffee and donuts, no guns, no bombs, no hassle. You're insured. Run, cop. Run. I'm insane. Incurable. The 
This is a war zone. John? Oh, thank God it's you. How you holding up? Uh, I felt better, but I'll make it. Listen, they've hacked into the computer system. All communications are down. We can't call for reinforcements. Okay, hang in there. I'll try and get the computers back online. How? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Where's Von Laban? I don't know. They don't exactly let reporters have free reign around the police department. Thornburg, where there's trouble. You're not giving me any reason to keep you alive. I d Drop your weapons. McLean. Well, I never thought I'd be pleased to see you. Do as he says. You won't get away with this. You can't win, it's over. Gruber's got something special for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How can I repay you? Well, you can start by getting out of my face. What the hell are you doing here anyway? Trying to get an interview with Von Leben. Exclusive, naturally. Tell me everything you know, and if you fuck with me, I will kill you myself. I heard them say that they've wired explosives to the two main entrance doors. They're booby-trapped. If anyone tries to get in from outside, boom. We'll have to deactivate them, but it's gonna take some time. Thornburg, don't move. I'm gonna handle this. McLean, do you really expect me to sit here and get killed by some mercenary? You'd rather be blown apart by Gruber? Stay put. Fine, tough guy. You know, I've always wanted to do a special on you. How about it? Talk to my agent. side of a whip. <laughs> Al, how you doing? I'll survive. Nothing broken. Tougher than these fools realize. You sure? What was that noise? We got more guests. I smell you okay, bacon. Cowboy? Hey, isn't that your brother? Yeah, he's living it up in Mexico. Huh, good picture.
Yeah, but there's more where they came from. They've overrun the station. Don, we've got to get the communications computers back up, or we're all screwed. for this door. If I had the key... We got oh, ourselves God. some rats to play with. No, 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 no! Please, no! Shut up. Animals! You're only getting what you deserve. Fuck! Why didn't you stop that, John? Are you gonna tell me what I need to know? I got all the time in the world. What are you doing in there? Dad? Is that you? Oh, thank God. They've mined the door. If we try and open it, we're toast. Okay. Move away from the door. Get yourself to the back of the room. I'm gonna shoot the glass out. Okay. Move it, Von Lehman. Stupid girl. Gorba's going to kill us all. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Shut up and move. And try to be a bit more optimistic, eh? Use. It's bulletproof. There's got to be another way. Look, I'm going to try smashing it with this chair. Stand back. It buckled slightly. Listen, try shooting the glass at exactly the same time that I hit it with the chair. Okay, on three. One. It worked! See what you can achieve with teamwork? What happened? Frontier shot him, took his interview transcript and a list of the stolen art. This isn't just about art. It's revenge on crazy. What are you talking about? Gorba. He has plans for you and this entire city. Why should we trust you? You're his partner, after all. If I had known about his true intentions, I would have broken off our deal. All I wanted was a painting. <coughs> You're running out of time. Dad, we need to bypass the lock on the communications computer and deactivate the explosives. And we need those documents. It's our case. I'm with you, but this thing has turned into way more than an art robbery. Here's the keys to the holding cells. I'll try to patch up Von Leben. As soon as the doors are clear, I'll help you catch Frontier. I'm okay, Dad. But you should hurry. We haven't got much time.
What's your name? Look, there's been some mistake. I shouldn't be in here. Yeah, everyone's innocent. I asked you, what's your name? Uh, Herbert Dowd? A computer guy. Well, I, I suppose. Look, I didn't mean to access those files. Can you hack into the police computer system? N that's illegal. I don't have time for moral arguments right now. Can you do it or not? Sure, no problem. Just take me to them. Herbert, it's time for you to earn your freedom. You know anything about explosives? What, like the ones this building is wrapped in? Well, that'll do, for starters. Well, I should. I designed them. Oh, I know two other things, Holmes. First, there's enough explosives here to flatten this building. And second, I'm the only motherfucker in this place who can disarm them. So you must be Nitric. And you're that local cop, John McLean. I thought you liked blowing the shit out of buildings, eh? Let me fill you in on something, Nitric. Right now, if those bombs blow, they'll take you out too. And I'm sure we wouldn't want that now, would we? So against my better judgment, I'm gonna let you out to disarm those bombs. Oh, and any quick move you might make would be your last. Don't worry about me, cop. Today is not a good day to die. Yo, Holmes. I can't get the codes if the computers are offline. I'll wait by the explosives and you get the system up. Trust me, eh? Hold on a minute. Without the computer, I can't do jack, so on the limb, McLean. Hey, Holmes, I'm serious. Get further back, eh? Adios, amigos.
Come look out. McLean. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't do anything until I get the camera. John McLean. We meet at last. Dad? And his daughter. This is perfect. Grab her. You'll never get away with this one. Oh, but I am. I am. Get her in the chopper. Lucy! Just a little insurance, that's all. I won't let Frontier damage her. Yet. You touch her, and you're a dead man! Hear me? Let's go. Right behind you, Gruber. Wait a second, McLean. You're not authorized to be here. Well, I'm not leaving until I get my little girl back. I got my orders, and Al said you weren't to be let in. Well, Al should know me better. Don't try and stop me. Shit! Welcome to the party, pal. Get over here! Keep your head down! We got a sniper. He's on the balcony. We've already lost one man, but we can't get a clean shot. Where's Al and the rest of the team? Seems they caught some of Gruber's boys. We can't reach them while that sniper's got us pinned down. I'll take care of the sniper. Take this key card. It'll open up the sound stage. What are you waiting for? How's he doing? He'll live. If I can just stop the bleeding. Hang in there, pal. You want to make yourself useful? Fill it full of lead. Sir Johnston's not answering his radio. Go check on Will, and stay sharp. I see any of you so much as Twitch, and it'll be the last thing you ever do. He's here. killed us, wouldn't they? I heard some of them go next door. Did they have a female cop with them? I don't know. I didn't see. Okay. You better wait here. 
sure thing. Listen, how do I get up to the office balcony? Balcony? He means the one by the studio head office. You can get to it from Studio 3. Take my key. It'll get you into the next studio. Nice outfit. Yes, this was supposed to be my big break. What the hell? Are you...
Jordan. Hey, McLean, you there? Yeah, I read you. Your sniper won't be troubling you for uh, the rest of his life. Uh, understood. Okay, we're gonna do a sweep of the back lot. Can you cover us? Yeah, move out. I heard something on the roof. Make up the part. And more footsteps above. There's one in the props department. Over there, on the roof. On the water tower! Thanks, John. Uh, McLean, you might want to come and see this. So what's the latest? We've recovered the paintings. So this is now a cleanup operation? Not quite. Gruber and Frontier are still in the loose, and they've got Lucy. We've had no reported sightings of her. I doubt she's here. I've got to be sure. Yeah, well, remember, you've got no clearance to be here. Should have been a lumberjack. He's still alive.
guys all right? No, I am not all right. I just have Psycho hold a gun to my head and threaten to kill me. Oh, hello. Oh, so you've got problems. Hmm, in case you've forgotten, he was trying to get you to shoot me. Okay, enough! Did you see where Frontier ran off to? The big guy? Hmm, <laughs> he went out the back door. Oh, uh, do you think he'll come back? No, you wait until my agent hears about this. Oh, this was not what I signed up for. Cowboy. Is he okay? Yeah, he'll live. John, you shouldn't have been here. Look, Al, I can't sit around waiting to hear what's happened to Lucy. Yeah, well, you know that trailer you demolished? It contained Jesse Montana. Yeah, we met earlier. She's got a lot of clout, John. The studio's insurance company is going ape shit, and she's pressing assault charges. I hate to do this to you, man, but I gotta lock you up till we can clear this up. I need your badge and gun. Al, come on, Al. You can't be serious. I told you not to come here, McLean. You're too personally involved. Looks like you and Nitric are gonna have some more time to get to know each other. What's that smell? What do you care, McLean? Oh, no care at all. It's just that being locked up in this cesspool isn't getting any better with you turning into a goddamn fish market. Tuna. Yeah, I recently acquired the taste. Don't suppose you could acquire a taste for breath mints? Hey, you're a real funny guy. Let's see how hard you laugh when Frontier busts me out. Face it, fish boy. They're done with you. Screw you, McLean. You think they're just gonna leave me in here with you? No way, man. When they get here, all hell's gonna break loose. <laughs> right. I'm sure that'll be happening any minute now. Think about this, muchacho. When you're riding in here, I'll be with your daughter.
Attention, this is the warden. The prison is under siege. All guards are advised to use whatever force necessary to bring the situation under control. I repeat, all officers are... What? What? Hey, who, who are you? <laughs> Testing? <coughs> Testing? <laughs> hey, uh, is this thing on? Hey. Yo, bitches, this is your new warden. This is motherfucking Sergio. And all you guards better get back the fuck off if you want to see the morning. Great. Just great. What is it with you, John? How can the same shit keep happening to the same guy? They've unlocked the cell doors! Anyone out of there? Take it easy, pal. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing? Sorry, but I gotta go. They'll shoot you on sight. You've got three seconds to get into your cell. One, two, three! Try that again, and I'll shoot you. Just relax, and I won't hurt you. What? I'm gonna have to leave you here for now. You'll never get away with this. Caesar's finest tuna. Cigarettes. Now these are very bad for you. Yo, McLean, got a smoke? Allow me. Hey buddy, need a light? Don't mind if I do. Whew, this mattress reeks. Yo guards! We got a fire here! Come on, man, let us out! Oh, this is a dumb idea, John. Did you see the guys they brought in from El Segundo? They get younger and uglier every day. What about the lowlifes from Block D? Total scum. Going up! 
Drop your weapons. Shoot them. got three kids. Hey, hey, it's McLean. I'm a cop. I'm here to help. John McLean? The one and only. I need help. Supplies? Uh, medical. I need help. Supplies? Uh, medical. We gotta split. We just come from that way. No, I saw the guards down there, man. We gotta go this way. Come on, dudes. Okay, okay, guys. Just let me come with you, man. Don't leave me alone. Hurry. I'm gonna find me some guards to kill. Hey, he's come to steal our supplies. Now hold on. Teach you to put me into solitary, man. <laughs>
Look, Vinny, I told you. I don't got your smokes. Hey, you goomba. I saw you smoking with my... That's the plane. He's got see who's on first uh wh what's on second um i don't know i don't know who's on third uh that's that's what i'm asking <laughs> let's see wh who's on first uh wh what's on second um Give us the drugs and we won't have to shoot you. I told you, Sergio was the good one. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'll be okay. Those guys were after the morphine, but Sergio beat him to it. Was Nitric with them? I don't know, but they're all off to the execution chamber. They've got a taste for revenge. How do I get there? The quickest way is past the governor's office. Now, if they've locked the doors to the chamber, you could use a set of skeleton keys that he keeps in the safe. Thanks. You want a gun? No thanks. I'm supposed to save lives, not take them. My girl. Fan control. Hmm. Breezy. Oh, shit! I'm getting too old for this. You shouldn't have come in here, pig. Buddy, you okay? Yeah, thanks to you. Shit, I thought I was dead meat.
But you're a prisoner? Only part-time, pal. I'm John McClain. I'm a cop. Thanks, John. <coughs> Listen, there's a SWAT team about to come in. They take one look at you, dressed like that and carrying a gun. They're not gonna ask questions. Here, you better take my jacket. Hey, what about you? I'll be okay. Just need to get my breath back. Shit, run, man! Put on a uniform and everyone's scared of you. <laughs> We're gonna need backup. Sir, cell block A has been secured. Tell them to hold their positions. How long till backup arrives? Bravo team, hold your positions. combination to his safe. It's going down, man. How the blades take care of business. Oh, you know how he's going down oh, now, man. man. We're number one, baby. Oh, We're the oh, blades, give it to him. <laughs> We're the blades. We got him now. Some stupid <laughs> warning. Let's show this motherfucker how the blades, oh, take, care oh, oh, the blades oh, take care of business. Oh, oh you know how he's going down now, man. We got him now. We're the blades. Let's show this motherfucker how the blades take care of business. Man, I need a
McLean, if it weren't for you... All in a day's work for public enemy number one. Where'd Nitric go? He's waiting for a chopper on the roof. Follow me. You can go up this way. Okay, the roof's up there. I'll stay here. Thank you, McLean. The SWAT guys are making their way in this direction. Nitric. Hey, do you want to finish this now? Where's Lucy? The art of conversation is dead! Where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? Holmes eating tuna. Eva Quero. Looks like I get the last laugh. Just following up a lead. Lead? What lead? Probably nothing, but Nitric sure liked his tuna. Tuna? What are you talking about? I don't need you getting into any more trouble, John. Jesse Montana has dropped her charges, but you know it's not the first talk you stepped on. Hey, this isn't over until I get Lucy back. Look, cowboy, I don't have a choice here. And if you step out of line one more time, I'm taking you off the case. What was that last part, Al? You're breaking up. Stay out of trouble.
Anything to report? All quiet, sir. Stay sharp. We're moving out soon. Aye, sir. You men, come with me. Over there! If you hold it like this, you get a much steadier aim. Okay, I like it. Now, McClane. One minute I'm gutting fish, the next I'm somebody's target practice. How many guys are we talking about? Oh man, I don't know. They just overran the place. Then these Japanese turned up on a boat. I'll do what I can. Find somewhere to lie low. And I thought the fish smelled bad. <laughs> A 
Another day, this another job event. pay well. Hey, who's that? Intruder! What a mess. guys up to Zack you tell him uh, some shipment arrived they brought it in on a boat and and they were unloading it by the docks how do I get there the easiest way is over the gantry this key will get you in thanks Gruba, you've done it again. These paintings far exceed my collection from the rule of heist. I hope you find RDX5 ample reward. Oh, I think so. Have you ever launched one of these? Gruba, treat it with respect. I wouldn't want to be within five blocks of that when it goes off. But of course, it's my baby, and I have some very special plans for it. It has been pleasure doing business with you. Ah, you're just in time to meet Sumi Kazawa. Sumi, allow me to introduce my associate, Marlin. Marlin and I go way back. We have what you might call a special Relationship. Had a special relationship. Now, we are strictly business. Exactly. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sumi. Oh. DX5. Marlin spent a lot of time in Russia, engaged in all manner of special operations. She knows her way around a big gun. Good eye. It is indeed Russian. It is fine looking. I recognize the model. There's something beautiful about it, no? Hi, indeed. Time is tight. <laughs> you need to dry off. You sick motherfucker! Thanks. Thanks. Why would he do that? You okay? I'll be okay. They've got a rocket. Yeah, I saw. You better find somewhere safe to hide. I've got to get to that rocket. They'll kill you. They haven't killed me yet. Look after yourself, man.
it's over. Asbestos gloves. These could come in handy. Get across there. Genics. Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, 
This thing's frozen solid. is on me now. They've locked it from the other side. No stopping you now, John. Guys, all right? We are now. They brought the missile in. Where is it? In the next warehouse. We can get you into the warehouse using the train. Okay, guys, lead the way. Get up on that crate. Once you're on the container, I can lift you up.
Gruber says we're about to move. But McLean's still somewhere out there. Pull your men back. We're going. Gotta get into that truck without being spotted. Welcome back. We have some breaking news regarding the Townsend Art Heist. This evening, the Century City Police Department recovered the remaining priceless paintings in an impressive raid on the city's docks. Although news of this retrieval will be a great relief to our city's many art lovers, this relief has now proved to be short-lived. In a shocking turn of events, Piet Gruber, son of the crazed robber Hans Gruber, has demanded one billion dollars from the city. If his demands are not met, Gruber promises to destroy the Los Angeles International Airport using a series of high-powered explosives. At this point, the preservation of human life is the primary concern of the police department and the FBI. We will, of course, be following the story closely on HEN, so don't go away. And now, a word from our sponsor, Jubilee Bright Toothpaste, because minty breath is just better. Stay quiet, John. Huh? Sounds like I got company. He's at the entrance. If I can't open a door, maybe I can go over the wall.
Lucy, is that you? Help! I'm in here! Hold on, sweetie, I'm coming! He's on the crane! He'll be here soon. Let's surprise him. Turn that down. What this? The 
See, this forces the door shut. You connect that cable? Yeah, you got it? No one's getting through here. There's another barrel over here. Be careful with the fuel. It's highly flammable. Time to die, We need these moved to the launch area. Jack, turn on the forklift. We gotta get this fuel barrel down. That's a stupid place to start, if you ask me. I didn't put it up here. Quit talking and get back to work. Watch out, man. The plane's in here.
John. If you slip, they'll be picking you up Looks on like a shovel. There's an exit up there. I got you now. Oh, great. Things give me the creeps. Something about them. Coming through. There he is.
What's holding us up? We don't have enough fuel. Who's gonna tell Frontier? <laughs> Really? Where's Lucy? She's being well looked after. You're too late. Lucy has no chance. Gruber will have his revenge. Where is she? He's taken her to where he killed his father. Nakatomi Plaza? He felt there was a certain poetry to it. John! John! You're okay. I thought we'd lost you there. Yeah, I'm fine. And I've got some good news. Oh yeah, what's that? You bringing me some donuts? <laughs> Close. Listen, their missile's not going anywhere. It's been deactivated. All right, cowboy, you did good. And nice timing. The governor was about to have my ass. I'll put a stop to the cash and over. Wait, Al, don't hang up. You've got to stall him. Gruber might not know yet. And he's got Lucy. We can use this to our advantage. Then four, cowboy. I'll take care of it. We'll do our best to stall him. You just get your ass over here. All bets are off, Gruber. McLean sabotaged the rocket. What? No! What does it take to kill that man? I don't know. But if you've got a backup plan, I suggest you implement it now. I'm on my way over. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah, I never thought they'd let me back here. Lucy's still alive. Gruber took her inside a few minutes ago. We haven't heard from him since. How much support does Gruber have? Lots. We sent a SWAT team in ten minutes ago, but we've lost contact. I got another team about to go in. 
John, you know this place better than the architect. Do you want to lead them? Let's do this. Moving in. Guard area clear. It's an ambush! It's a trap! SWAT team. Gruber's men were waiting for us. John, stay put. We'll cut through the doors. I'm not waiting around while he's still got Lucy. I'm going in. Damn it, John. You'll both be killed. Now wait for backup. No can do, Al. Sorry. McLean, you are one stubborn asshole. You know that. We got one of the express elevators back online. Use it. Just don't get killed. Spotters say that Lucy's on the 31st floor. John, be careful. You know me. Always cautious. Welcome to the 22nd floor. Talk to me, Al. The elevator just stopped on the 22nd floor. What's going on? I hear you, John. The elevator wasn't stopped from down here. Gruber must have regained control of it. Oh, great. Ah, John McClane. I've been expecting you. I'm sure you will appreciate the irony in my choice of location. This ending here, where it all began so many years ago, makes it all the more satisfying. Only this time, I'm afraid to say, it's your turn to die. Sorry, Gruber. I'm not planning on dying just yet. McLean, you are quite an irritating man and very hard to kill. However, this time I'm afraid there is no way out. There will be no last-minute escape. I was going to allow you the opportunity to say goodbye to your daughter, but seeing as how she will be joining you shortly anyway, what's the point? Fuck you, Gruber! You're a fucking dead man! Goodbye, Officer John McLean. You have 15 seconds to live, McLean. Tick tock, tick tock, cowboy. What was that you said? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Think, John, think! Shit! John, what's going on? The building's gonna need another paint job and a shitload of plate glass. Hey, it wasn't my fault this time. Gruber just blew some explosives. Look. Don't send any more SWAT guys in here until I give the word. It's too dangerous. Okay, okay. They'll be on standby. I'll call you when I know more. Special delivery! Welcome to the 23rd floor. some patience. I'll explain it to you in person soon enough. Is that the cowboy? Is that the cowboy? Yeah, and I'm coming to kick your ass. Welcome to the 24th floor. C4? 
floor. Hmm. Can't blow up the same building twice, can you, John? Welcome to the 25th floor. To the 25th floor. this high-powered assault rifle You piece of shit! Somebody should find me over here. That could be dangerous. Jim.
Gruber? Gruber. He's here. He's here. Let's do this. He's here! It's too quiet, John. Oh, shit! Dad, be careful. Lucy! Just hold on, honey. I'm gonna get you He's out. He's here! If I move, we all die. It's okay. It's okay. It's all over. Not yet, Dad. Where's Gruber? He's up on the roof. Follow me. Okay, whatever happens up there, I don't want you to put yourself in any danger. This is personal between me and Gruber. Yeah, well now it involves me. You ready to do this? You lead the way. After you. Dad, I was trained for this. I'm not your little girl anymore. Lucy, you're always gonna be my little girl. So just do this for me and stay here. Okay, but I'll be ready to go. Hold it right there, McLean. Any closer and I'll blow your daughter to kingdom come. Well, well, well. If it isn't Piet Gruber in the flesh. So this is it, Gruber. Go ahead, take your shot. I'm the one you want. You've got a score to settle? Settle it now. McLean, this was never about revenge. 
My father barely said two words to me my entire childhood. You did me a favor by killing him. This is about money, McLean. The money which you will now get for me. You and I both know I can't do that. Mace, come to the end of the line, Gruber. It's over. I warned you, McLean. Now you'll pay with your daughter's life. No. No, 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 die. Why don't you just die? Ah. Frontier, you goddamn coward. Come back here and help me. Nothing personal, Gruber, but you had it coming. Nah. Yippee Kaye. Motherfucker. That's my girl. Thanks, McLean. You saved me a lot of aggravation. Sorry to leave you high and dry, but I've got a premiere to catch. This is a bad idea, John. Whoa! It's a really bad idea! Chief, it's Lucy. Gruber's dead, and his men have been taken out. Roger that. Man, you two made a mess. Get back down here. I want to meet you and John in five minutes. That could be a little tricky. Once again, Dick Thornburg here, reporting to you live from the Holmes Observatory high in the Hollywood Hills. We're at the post party for tonight's premiere of Galaxy Thief 3. Greg Castle and his family have just arrived, looking relaxed and happy with the film's positive reception. Yes, folks, the Hollywood A-list has come out on this beautiful, starry night here in Los Angeles. Frankly, if you're not here, you're nobody. So stick with us, and we'll be right back with Greg Castle himself in just a minute on HEN. <clears throat> What's Frontier doing Greg, here? Can I call you Greg? Sure. What can you tell us about Galaxy Thief 3? You're going to love it. Lots of battles, lots of aliens, lots of comedy. Even a little romance. This film is going to redefine the comedy space mercenary genre. And if we could genre. just talk about you. What was that? No. Hope you're on the gun. Mind! What's the mind, John? What's the mind?
limited issue circuit breaker. Now, if I could just remember how to do this. Frontier's men have overrun the place. They've wired up the building with explosives. Looks like he intends to kill everyone inside. How explosives? They said they've planted five bombs in suitcases. Here, take my security keys. Do what you can. Thanks. Say, do you guys carry police radios? Yeah, take it. I won't be needing it where I'm going. It's John. Come in, Al. John, where the hell are you? I'm up at the Holmes Observatory, and our old pal Frontier is up with his army. We got a multiple hostage scenario, and they've rigged the building to blow. Hey, just sit tight. No time, Al. Fortify their positions. It could be all over by the time you get here. I've got to try to get into that building. Bullseye.
Mars back on the telescope, and the rockets are now offline. Now to get inside the building. Careful, John, you don't want to set those off. It's you! I should have known you'd be involved. Get down, Ow! lady! fainted.
That should get the doors open. John, where are you? I'm in the East Exhibition Hall. We've secured the grounds. Just give us the word to move in. I still need to deactivate the bombs. I'll call you when it's safe. Why are you doing this? Shoot the bomb. Thank you. You saved my life. Find somewhere safe and stay put until the cavalry arrives. Sure thing. Okay. That's all the bombs taken care of. such a shame that you're the only witness to my greatest performance. But it fills my heart with taking you to hell. Nice work, cowboy. Another day, another building in ruins. <laughs> Congratulations, John. Thanks, Al. Where's Lucy? Is she all right? I'm fine, Dad. Just fine. Excuse me, are you John McClane? Who's asking? The John McClane? I'm Robert Barnes, head of development at Flyaway Pictures. I'd like to talk to you about movie rights. This is quite a story. Down and out cop saves the day with the help of his gun-toting daughter. Could make for a compelling movie. Thanks, but no thanks. Now, if you don't mind... Uh, maybe you're not hearing me. I'm willing to pay you big bucks for you your story. You heard the man. 
Now get out of his I'm face. I'm talking bright lights, starlets, big money. Don't be a fool, McLean. Hey!